Ha folks. Ha folks. After you watch this video, if you do not start praying on a regular basis, if you do not start asking the Lord on a regular basis to make you unable to use his name in vain, you are in total disobedience. I suggest doing it every time you watch TV or are driving in a car. I'm just going to repeat myself one more time. After this, after you've watched this video, if you do not begin praying to never use the Lord's name in vain, you're in total disobedience to God's work. Please share this video and help me get it 100,000 views. Thank you. Self to them, nor serve them. For I, the Lord thy God, am a jealous God, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate me, and showing mercy unto thousands of them that love me and keep my commandments. Thou shalt not take the name of the Lord thy God in vain, for the Lord will not hold him guiltless that taketh his name in vain. Remember the Sabbath day. Thou shalt not take the name of the Lord thy God in vain, for the Lord will not hold him guiltless that taketh his name in vain. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Jesus saith unto him, Have I been so long time with you, and yet hast thou not known me, Philip? He that hath seen me hath seen the Father. And how sayest thou then, Show us the Father? Believest thou not that I am in the Father, and the Father in me? The words that I speak unto you, I speak not of myself, but the Father that dwelleth in me, he doeth the works. Believe me that I am in the Father, and the Father in me, or else believe me for the very works' sake. Verily, verily, I say unto you, He that believeth on me, the works that I do shall he do also, and greater works than these shall he do, because I go unto my Father. And whatsoever ye shall ask in my name, that will I do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If ye shall ask anything in my name, I will do it. If ye love me, keep my commandments. And I will pray the Father, and he shall give you another comforter, that he may abide with you forever. Folks, folks, First Thessalonians 5 says to pray without ceasing. Matthew chapter 7 and John chapter 14. And I believe Matthew, and I believe Matthew 21 says says asking you shall receive i know that matthew 7 and john 14 say asking you shall receive but one time i read matthew 21 and i believe it also says asking you shall receive too but i could be wrong on that one Their throat is an open sepulchre. With their tongues they have used deceit. The poison of asps is under their lips, whose mouth is full of cursing and bitterness. Their feet are swift to shed blood. Destruction and misery are in their ways, and the way of peace have they not known. There is no fear of God before their eyes. Now we know that what thing soever the law saith, it saith to them who are under the law, that every mouth may be stopped, and all the world may become guilty before God. Therefore, by the deeds of the law, there shall no flesh be justified in his sight, for by the law is the knowledge of sin. But now the righteousness of God without the law is manifested, being witnessed by the law and the prophets. Even the righteousness of God, which is by faith of Jesus Christ, unto all and upon all them that believe. For there is no difference, for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God, being justified freely by his grace through the redemption that is in. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God, being justified freely by. Folks, folks. Malachi 3 says the Lord does not change, and 
Titus 1 says the Lord does not lie. Well, well, folks, First John chapter 1 says, If we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves. But if we confess our sins, the Lord is faithful and just to forgive us and to cleanse us of all our sin and unrighteousness. Folks, I am ashamed to say that that when I finally got to come home, while I was waiting for mom to come pick me up from my grandpa's today, I, I accidentally said under my breath, I don't give a goddamn about about doing the thing I don't like to do. I accidentally said I don't give a goddamn about doing what I had to do today that I do not like. So folks, folks, the purpose of this video is to show you that we all do wrong and that the Lord is merciful. If this video helps you, let me know, but never thank me, but please like, share, and subscribe. Folks, folks, this video has two purposes. Number one, to show that the Lord is merciful, and number two, after you have watched this video, I hope you learn that if you do not pray that you will never use the Lord's name in vain, you are in total disobedience. You are doing the exact opposite of what God wants you to do according to Exodus chapter 20. I don't know what verse. So yeah, this video has two purposes. Once again, please like, share, and subscribe.